Hi there, Nori here. Today I am going to do a little video about do I need the ColourPop Orange You Glad palette? Because orange is my favourite colour and I have quite a few oranges. And I'm not going to try and dupe the palette as such, I'm just going to try and see if I could get the same kind of effects from what I've already got in different eye looks. So I'm going to go through my collection, show you all my orange palettes or all my palettes that have orange in them and pick out nine colours that I think would make a nine palette, a good orange nine palette. <laughs> Words. What, what order did they go in again? <laughs> and, um, and then give you my thoughts on whether I think I need the colour pop orange you glad palette or not. <laughs> so I have all these palettes that have an orange in them somewhere and I'm figuring I could probably make a pretty good orange palette from some of the colours out of here. So I'm going to go through and have a look. So these are the Colourpop colour palettes that I've got. I've just got these four and I'm going to use these as like an example for building my orange one and I like I think the best one is actually the blue one in terms of it's got a light enough shimmer to be an inner corner highlight and things and it's also got a nice light matte it's got a dark enough matte for darkening up the look it's got different coloured matte blues so you can get different looks and then some different shimmers so I'm going to have a look through and see if I can make an orange palette out of what I've already got so this was really hard <laughs> and my eyes look crazy because I haven't got any makeup on apart from playing with the eye makeup so I've been testing it all over my arms so I'm completely orange all over my arms and um, I've been testing them on my eyes to see what way I want to go and um, I think I've got eight so far <laughs> but it, it's taken me a couple of hours to figure that out <laughs> so I kind of looked at the Colourpop ones and to me this blue one is the most complete palette of the ones that I have got because it's got a light enough colour for inner corner and it's got a dark enough colour for blending out and then it's got the other colours that are different shades of blue so they're not all the same so I was trying to do something like that with orange so first colour I got from my Zodiac Love Signs palette from BH Cosmetics and this colour here, yeah, Virgo, which is a very light orange shimmer, and I've got that on my inner corner today. Hopefully, I don't know if you'll be able to see it that well because um, it's it's getting dark here. Is it better if I turn the light down a little bit? Can you see that fun? So that was like my highlight in a corner shade. And the next one I got, I wanted something that would blend out. So like in this palette, you got my highlight shade and then you've got a nice light blue that will blend out. So I wanted a nice light orange that will blend out. So I've got the Euphoria BYS palette in this colour called Bliss. It looks like this. So it's a very kind of bright citrusy orange but it's pale. And Then I wanted to colour another orange matte, so 
this is where I started to have trouble because I haven't got a really bright orange mat. This is from the Sofex palette. Hang on. And uh, what colour is that? Cloudberry. That orange one there. So it's a slightly different tone of orange. But I haven't got anything that's really bright orange. And then I went for bright, bright orange. So I went into the Rebel palette from BYS. And I got this one, which oh, I can't tell what it's called from there. Rebel, it's called Rebel. The Rebel palette. And it's the rebel colour. So this one against the other oranges look kind of red, but next to a red it's orange. So that was actually this watch that way so you can see. So that was bright bright orange. And that's like like my jersey. And then we start going into some more shimmers. So I've got from Classy Cake Cosmetics. I have got Cantaloupe, which is this one here. I shall swatch that. And that's a really, really pretty shimmer orange. And then from my Solar Flare palette from BH Cosmetics. Got Fireball here. And this one is a different shimmery orange, so you can see how they're different shades. This one is a really bright one, and this one's next to this one, it looks more pinky, but it is still orange. So I was going trying to go for some shimmers that in some mattes that were different shades of orange but still orange. And then I went into the Tribe palette by Juvia's Place that my lovely friend Kaylee Weasley gave me. And I'm not actually going to use the orange out of here. I'm actually going to go down and use this colour here. Because this is a beautiful deepening up kind of bronzy orange there. And then we go into my TT Diva palette, which is basically all various shades of orange, but they're a lot muted orange. And I'm going, these ones don't have names. I'm going to go into this one here. And this is matte as well. So it looks brown against all those. Those swatches aren't very good. Hang on. <laughs> so, can you see those swatches better? I can never figure out. I, I always need to go way around here on my arm, don't I? So, it looks almost the same as this one, but this one is a shimmer and this one is a matte out of my GG palette. And then it was the darkening up colour that I again had some problems with because I was looking for something, maybe a really, really deep rust, but I didn't have anything because that I thought was dark enough. Because we've got this one, but it's not really any darker than this one. It's just a different shade. I didn't think it would be dark enough. Can you see that? So I decided not to go that way because all the rusts I had, none of them were, were dark enough. So like, do I go dark brown? Like this colour here in the Spice edition of... Um, oops, just stuck my finger in the wrong one. So do I go brown? It's so a slightly purpley brown. But it doesn't look orange at all. Can you even see that? Yep. So 
it, it doesn't look orange at all. So I was having trouble with that one because the other colour I was thinking, which one was it? I can't even remember where I got it from now. Because the other colour I could have gone with like a, a deeper purple brown which darkens up orange nicely. But I was having trouble with that one. I didn't have anything that I thought would be suitable. But I think I went with the dark brown in the end. But we will see when I've done a couple more looks whether that is going to work. So that was my orange palette from the things I already own. And um, <laughs> it was a lot harder than I thought. I I narrowed it down to nine palettes, but I used nine palettes to get the nine colours. And there were a lot of palettes there to choose from. One of the colours I was considering was Marigold in here. Because this one looks nice and orange. And it's different. But when I swatch it next to on my finger there looks a bit goldy but when I swatch it next to all these colours which I'll put, it, I'll put it here it ends up can you see that? no <laughs> so I'm trying to swatch it but not doing too well so it's here it ends up going well with this colour here but it ends up looking way more pink an orange next to these other oranges so I decided not to use that one and I did have an orange pressed glitter but I don't want pressed glitter so <laughs> I wasn't putting that in so I had lots of options but what I was missing was that those really really bright matte oranges that I see in the palette when um, my girl Shay XO was doing eye swatches and some of those mattes were really really bright bright orange and all my oranges apart from this one they're all kind of muted in the matte department so I'm just going to wipe this off before I get it all over me um, <laughs> so I'm going to do another eye look with this orange made up palette <laughs> what do I call it it's not a dupe for the orange Colourpop palette I don't even know what that's called, I have to look that up. <laughs> but um, it's just playing with my orange eyeshadow and trying to see what I can do. Do I need the orange colour plop? Plop. <laughs> do I need the orange colour pop one? Let's see. So I'm going to go into my Sofix palette and get this Cloudberry colour. This palette is looking very big nut because... Um, the lid's broken off and it keeps gouging out the colours on it. So I think I might have to do some depotting because it's just getting wrecked. <laughs> so I'm going in with Cloudberry and I'm going to put this here with a fluffy brush. Oh, that was, lot, that was lots. <laughs> it was probably a bit more than I was intending. That's okay. I'm going to go in with Bliss out of my Euphoria BYS palette. I had someone, and I can't remember who it was, it might have been Alison, saying how, oh look, I've got my eyeshadow right up to my eyebrows again. How do you stop doing that? Alison, my eyebrow, my eyeshadow is right up to my eyebrows. I, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> I am going to go in with Fireball from my Solar Flare BH Cosmetics palette. This, uh, this is probably my favourite shade of orange. I like all oranges, but this is probably my favourite shade of orange. It's a real citrusy, mandarin, bright orange, orange juice colour or something like that. But I love it. I 
And then I'm, <laughs> so I'm going to go in with Virgo from the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Signs palette. I also love this colour as well. It's kind of like the other colour but it's lighter and it's a little more peachy. And then I'm going to go in with this colour here from the Tri palette by Juvius. Put that here, deepen up that bit here a bit. And now I want a really, really bright orange for here, but I don't think I've got one the right colour. I think the one out of my Rebel palette is going to be the wrong shade of orange, but have a look. It's not. It's not really the shade I was going for. So, what am I going to use instead? I'm going to use the Chi Chi Diva one, which, oops, I just slipped my finger in. Um, but it's not, um, it's not really as bright. It's sort of a duller orange, so it's not quite. I was looking for maybe you go over it with some of bliss. See if that helps brighten it up a bit. I think that's kind of getting the effect that I wanted. I have to just work a bit harder to get it. So, I'm gonna get one colour from a different palette that isn't in my so-called orange palette and that's just that dark cream there just to blend out the top of this comes in handy sometimes that dark cream it's for blending and I'm gonna tight line And I'm going to go into Bliss again and put some of that on the bottom there. Just to blend it out a bit. And so I'm going to go back into the Zodiac Love Signs palette and get that Virgo colour, this one here. And then I'll put that in my inner corner. I would have liked something a little bit brighter there but there wasn't in my palette that I made. <laughs> okay so I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then come back. So here's what we've got so far. Um, it's pretty much finished I think. So I've just got to choose a, a lip colour, which I think I might try, hang on, let's have a look. Yeah, I'll do that one. So it's the Colourpop Shayla X Colourpop in Inno. all over my face because <laughs> I'm just that clever. I'm yeah, going for quite a bright orangey look today. Yeah I think I need, I put on, what did I put on? I've lost it to show you. Yeah. I put on some of my super slim BYS mascara but it's um I think it's getting quite empty because it's not doing a heck of a lot. Maybe I just need to build it up a bit more. And it's got the tiniest little brush, it's good for the bottom lashes, but 
it's getting a bit old so I need to use it up. I still want a lighter in a corner and I'm going to go get one. Oh, this is one of the colours that I couldn't fit into my nine pan palette but I wanted to put in and that's Aquarius from the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette and it's more of a kind of a yellowy colour with a little bit of kind of an orange bit in it so it just brightens that a little bit up a bit more which is what I wanted and here is my final orange look those nice bright oranges So yes, I can do some orange looks and I can make a like nine pan palette out of all my palettes with oranges, but I still want the orange palette because it still has some shades in there that I haven't got. <laughs> so, so it didn't help me not to buy it, but it did help me sort of really look at my collection and where are the gaps. So. In theory, I could just go and get some singles of those really bright matte oranges and then I wouldn't need a whole palette. But in reality, it's probably cheaper just to buy the palette. <laughs> and the Colourpop palettes, you can easily pop the colours out if you want to. <laughs> so. so I realised that I have forgotten to do a outro, is that what you call it? to say goodbye at the end of this video as I was editing it and I just wanted to pop back on apart from saying thanks for watching <laughs> well to say um, I did actually end up ordering the aren't you glad no orange you glad <laughs> color pop orange palette but it could be a while before I get it because um, I got an email today saying that it could be a while before I get it because it's been so popular they've run out but it, but I will still get it eventually <laughs> so, um, yeah so I still decided to buy it after doing all this because I really wanted to try out those bright mats as I said I was missing the really bright mats in my collection so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>